It's been a while, I know. But have you ever ran into a problem where your V8 swap, whatever it be, S10, Ranger, T-Bucket, maybe even your Mazda, doesn't uh, shut off when you start the key? We'll use this one for example. On right now. Still on. Well, I'm going to show you how to diagnose an alternator back feed and how to solve the problem. An alternator back feed is when current's being pushed back to the switch from what I grasp it. Either it's because of your alternator's internals or your shoddy wiring job, which is probably the problem with this Mazda. Now I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to diagnose the back feeding problem with your alternator on your whatever application you have it. Please um, excuse the wiring on this truck, it is the way I acquired it, I'm in the process of going around and doing the truck in the right manner. It was a half done V8 swap and I'm trying to fix it. So you'll see some bare wires. But anyways, what you want to do is come over here and unplug this to your alternator. Then go back to your truck and try and start it. What you want to do is try and start it. If it starts fine, then try shutting it off. If it shuts off fine, you've got a back feeding problem. Start it. Shuts off just fine. Now I'll show you how to fix that back feeding problem. This is what you need to order, or you can go to your local supply store like Radio Shack, but I think they're going out of business, so if you have one in your area. It's a uh, rectifier diode. This is a 6 amp, um, 50 volt, I believe, a rectifier diode. I think that's what the listing, I got it off eBay, it cost about $5 with free shipping. So I will show you where to install it and uh, the fact that it works. Now that it's in, it's not soldered yet, I just have it twisted around the leads as I want to solder all of these unions done by other people down through there with cramps and I want to get this video up so I can get this online so you guys can see it. But the, the rectifier diode, some of them are directional. This one, the uh, stripe goes towards the alternator and I put it in my um, keyed ignition source that leads to the alternator. This is the line that's used as a key ignition source. And now I'll show you the results. Now when I start it, run, and I shut off the key, it shuts off. So, anyways, that's how you uh, stop a uh, run where you shut off your key and it continues to run a back feeding problem. Stay tuned for more videos. Later.